Greetings everyone, I am Professor TJ Wilkins and this is part one of the Mood More tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll use Photoshop to create the mood board. In this tutorial, we'll use the rulers, grid, rectangle tool, frame tool, align and distribute, and the layers panel. Open Photoshop and click Create New. Click on Print, go to Tabloid, make sure it's 11 by 17. Click on the Horizontal Orientation. Resolution 300. Select Create. Go up to the far right corner to choose a workspace. Select Essentials. Make sure your Layers panel is visible. If your panel is not visible, go up to Windows, scroll down to Layers and select. Check to see that your rulers are visible. If they're not, press Command-R on the Mac or Control-R on the PC. On the keyboard, press Command apostrophe or Control apostrophe to access the grid. Another way to view the grid, scroll up to view in the menu bar, scroll down to show, go down and select grid. Show, deselect grid. Click on the ruler and drag down a guide. Snap it at a quarter of an inch from the top of the workboard. Okay, so the guide's default color is a cyan color, which is a little bit too light for me to see. So I am going to change the color. Go to Photoshop CC, scroll down to Preferences, select General, scroll down to Guides, Grid, and Slices. At the top where it says Canvas, select a color that is easy for you to see. I'm going to select a light red. Click OK when you're done. Pull a vertical guide and snap it a quarter of an inch from the edge of the board. By the way, make sure that Snap 2 is activated. To do so, go up to View, scroll down to Snap 2, and make sure your guide's grid and layers are checked. Select a horizontal guide and snap it a quarter of an inch from the bottom of the workboard. Select a vertical guide and snap it a quarter of an inch from the right edge of the workboard. Select a horizontal guide and snap it four inches from the bottom of the workboard. Select another horizontal guide and snap it a quarter of an inch above the last guide. Let's create a makeshift guide that we can use to separate the images or space out the images when we're creating the mood board. Go to the Tools panel and select the Rectangle tool. Press Command Plus on a Mac or Control Plus on a PC to zoom in. The small boxes on the grid are a quarter of an inch high and a quarter of an inch wide. 
use the rectangular tool to create a square within any of the little boxes on the workboard. Go up to fill at the top of the screen, click and choose a color that you can easily see. I prefer red, so I'm selecting red. Double click away from the box to close. Click the arrow at the far right to close the properties panel if it's open. Press V on the keyboard or go to the tools panel and select the move tool. If the little box you made becomes selected, click away from the box to deselect. Press Command Apostrophe or Control Apostrophe to remove the grid from the workboard. Go to the Tools panel and select the Frame tool. Use the Frame tool to draw a frame that fits within the guides and it's about two and a half inches wide. Press M for the Move tool. Select your quarter inch guide. Drag and place next to the top of your frame. Hold down the Option key on the Mac or Alt on the PC. Click on the middle of the frame tool and drag to make a copy. Place the copy next to the square guide. Go to the Layers panel, click on the frame copy and change the name to Frame 2. Go to Frame 2. Click on the middle of the frame. Hold down the Option key on the Mac or Alt key on the PC. Click and drag to make a third copy. Drag the third copy all the way to the end. Go to the Layers panel. Double click on the name of the new frame and name it Frame 5. Click on the rectangular guide, place it at the top left of frame 5. Double click to deselect the guide. Move to the middle of frame 5, press down the Alt key and make another copy. Place the copy next to the guide. Go to the copy of the new frame, click on the layer name and change it to frame 4. Select the guide and drag it to the left of frame 4. Select the guide, press the Option key on the Mac or Alt key on the PC and make another copy of the guide. Press K on the keyboard to select the Frames tool or go to the Tools panel and select the Frames tool. Click and create the fifth frame in between the two guides. Go to the Layers panel, select the new frame layer, and change the name to Frame 3. If you would like your frames to be evenly spaced and all the same size, select the Frame tool in the Tools panel, or press K on your keyboard, and then Create your first frame. Make it whatever size you would like it to be. Press V on your keyboard for the Move tool, or you could select it in the Tools panel. Go to the middle of your frame. Hold down the Option key on the Mac or Alt key on the keyboard you'll see the two double arrows, one black, one white. Click and drag to make a copy. Hold the shift key to keep everything even. Place the frame in the far right corner. Make another copy of the frame. Hold down the option key for a Mac or Alt for a PC. Click and then drag. Create three more copies. And it doesn't matter if the spacings are uneven. So as you can see in this case, all of the frames are the same size, but the space in between the frames are uneven. You can 
click on one frame, hold the shift key and click the middle of all of the other frames to select all the frames. Or another way to easily select is in the layers panel. Scroll all the way to the top, select the first frame or the, the frame at the top, and then scroll down to the last frame, hold the shift key and click. And that selects all of the frames so that we have five frames in this, uh, on this workboard and there's one, two, three, four, five, five frames. Okay, then go up to the top of the workboard where it says align and distribute, click, and then select distribute horizontal centers. That evenly spaces the frames. So now you have frames that are the same size and are evenly spaced. Let's organize the layers. Click on layer three, drag it down and place it on top of layer two. Click on layer five, drag and place it on top of layer four. Select each layer and lock it. Make sure all of the layers are locked. Select the top layer. I currently have the images saved onto the desktop. So I clicked onto the desktop screen to access the Apple top menu. Click on go. Scroll down to desktop or wherever you have your work saved. Select the location of the images. Hold down the shift key and select all of the images. Drag and drop it into the document. If all of the images do not load, use the mouse to move the arrow away from the workspace and click in the layers or on a blank surface to access each image. Select the top image layer. Hold down the shift key and select the last image layer. This selects all of the image layers. Press Command T on a Mac or Control T on a PC to decrease or shrink the size of the images. Click at the corner of the images and drag down to shrink the size. Press V for the move tool and drag the images to the upper right corner away from the frames. Press V for the move tool. Notice that the images are still grouped together. To undo that, click on any of the layers in the layers panel. Space out the images, make sure to keep them away from the frames. Check out Mood Board Part 2 for Part 2 of this tutorial.